What is going on y'all? It is the caveman back at it again with another video. I was just about to walk into work as I'm sure most of us were or maybe you were already at work or maybe you're not even awake yet but the Buffalo Sabres have finally 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 traded Jack Eichel. The saga is over. The saga that's been holding down this franchise this city for such a long time now and it's done. I, I mean, it feels like a curse has been lifted off of our shoulders. It feels it feels great to know that this this whole mess, this whole dumpster fire is finally resolved. Jack Eichel and a third round pick is being sent to the Las Vegas Golden Knights in return for Peyton Krebs, Alex Tuck, a third round pick in 2023 and a first round pick in 2022. Pretty solid trade package, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I personally did not think we would get a return like this at this point in the entire saga. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I just didn't think we had the leverage anymore. More, but teams were still willing to pay this late into it. Um, there was a lot of speculation last night with the Calgary Flames. That kind of fell through, and we all knew that Vegas was the last team standing, and that's ultimately where Jack ended up. Um, good luck to everybody involved. I mean, this trade is amazing for the Sabres. It's, you know, marks a new beginning. Hopefully, we don't screw this up, because the last time we had a new beginning, it turned into all this, and that was with Jack Eichel and, and the whole Ryan O'Reilly thing. So, hopefully, this doesn't backfire the same way. But may we all rejoice, you know? It's a, it's a great feeling. Um, my, I'm myself i never came to hate jack eichel but unfortunately most of the city of buffalo did come to hate jack eichel and the way this is all played out um he is not a fan favorite around here like he used to be i i was like 14 or 15 when he got drafted and, and it felt amazing because we hadn't been good in, in quite a few years and we all thought jack eichel was going to be the answer and he he was trying you know we can't say he didn't try he definitely made our team better uh, and you can say what you want about the end of the road but it's sad. It's really sad. It kind of broke my heart when I officially knew that Jack Eichel would be traded a couple months ago, but it is what it is. You know, we're, we're here now. We're going to turn things around. Props to Kevin Adams for, you know, standing his ground. Remarkable, remarkable moves by him. I mean, I, if I were Kevin Adams, I probably would have folded at some point, but he stood his ground the entire time, and that is completely complete, uh, admirable. What makes this trade easier is knowing that the Sabres are not the worst team in the NHL right now. What makes this trade easier is that we have more than zero wins or one win at this point point in the year. We're actually a relatively competitive hockey team and one of the best in the NHL right now. Whether or not that'll last is another story, but knowing that we're competitive even without Jack Eichel makes this a lot easier for somebody like myself because I think we all know deep down that Jack Eichel does make our team better and the fact that we just ultimately are having to trade him and if our team was, you know, sitting there winless and we have Jack Eichel and he's not playing, it would be hard. But, you know, lucky for us, Don Granado has started to turn things around. Kevin Adams made a great trade. This marks a new beginning. The saga is over. Uh, I wish the best of luck to Jack Eichel and the Golden Knights, but here in the here in Buffalo, it's uh, a new a new uh, era is starting. I guess you could say I'm having a hard time. I did not expect this, man. I was about to walk into work, and here I am sitting in my car recording a video. What what a world we live in, man! I could walk outside right now in my parking garage and probably see the KeyBank Center two blocks down. I the curse is gone. So yeah, I mean, I, that's about all I got. I just wanted to report it, make a video about it. I will have a video coming out later. But if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed this morning's video, um, please leave a like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. I won't have all my fancy editing or the music in the background because I can't do it. I, I'm not at home. I'm in my car. So either way, if you liked, uh, please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, blah, blah, blah. Hope to see you in the next one. Buffalo fans, Buffalo Sabres fans, great feeling. See you later. Peace.